Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lower Season 2, Episode 12. Today we're going to be doing my review and breakdown for the episode. We've got a lot to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode has been a long time coming, we've had many breaks, and we're even going to have another break next week, sadly enough. But that is just due to the way that filming has gone for season two. Seems that they, you know, are having to take these breaks in order to give themselves some more time to finish off the episodes. And to be honest, I'm not completely against it because I do like when Superman and Lois comes on. It's always like a big event because it's been a while, right? And so we're going to be talking about this episode right from the start. And please be sure to stick around throughout the whole video because we've got lots to break down and talk about and lots to theorize about including like the future of the show and the way that this season ends specifically so yeah we pick up where we began in the last episode it's been a while and Clark revealed in that last episode that he is in fact Superman to Lana and so this literally kicks off at that same point he reveals the Superman Lana is like whoa like how did I not tell all this time you get flashbacks to young Lana and young Clark and basically he tries to explain why everything happened the way it happened. So he basically says, this is why after the crash, I went to Metropolis and basically to find his true self, which obviously ended up him becoming Superman and eventually finding Lois and then having the family. That's why he never returned to Smallville properly. Although he did come back a couple of times, but very discreetly. And that's when he saw Lana with Kyle and that's why he never came back to her specifically. And what I thought was kind of weird, but it made sense, was when Lana basically asked why he didn't come back for her. And she asked, did you ever love me? And he's like, of course I did. But then she says, not enough. And that was definitely, you know, some intriguing tension between the two of them that has been lingering on in the back of their minds. Because that's definitely something she's thought about over the years since they were very young. And I thought the young Lana, especially in the crash, I thought was pretty good in that one scene. And then even younger Lana and Clark were definitely very interesting in the brief flashbacks that they were in. But that's kind of where we leave off things with that for now, right at the start of the episode, because Lana drives off in the car. Apparently it's been like six hours that she's been away. And so people are starting to question where she is and everything, mainly her family. But then Clark goes home and talks to Lois about what happened. And then they move on to talk about how they're still worried about the bizarre world versions of themselves coming over to our world and basically causing destruction. So they just, you know, talk about it generally and then they send the kids to school. And then we go back to Lana who is thinking about past conversations with Clark and Superman. There is like various flashbacks to them more recently talking about everything and specifically Lana saying, it's like you have the whole world on your shoulders and she brings that up again later because literally Clark has the whole world on his shoulders being Superman. And so Lana then talks to Kyle who interrupts her flashbacks in the diner, but Lana is completely distracted. Kyle gets nothing out of her and Lana reveals when she gets a text message from Lois that she has to run off. Then we have Superman who talks to Bizarro Jonathan who is locked up on RF about his family and everything like that. He tries to get through to him a little bit, but he won't work with him because he has basically no repentance within inside of himself and he truly believes in what he was fighting for. And, you know, he's completely against any versions of his family members because of the way that his dad treated him. And so then we go over, we have another set of characters that be in General Lane and John Henry Irons. And they come up with a new plan to destroy the mines in order to destroy the portal so no one can come through. But Superman doesn't like it at all. And later on, they come up with another plan. And we'll get back to that when it happens in the episode. But let's go back to Lana and Lois. And it turns out that Lana is actually mad at Lois for trusting her and becoming friends rather than just being neighborly while she knew this big secret and didn't tell her about it and so she's more mad at Lois than she's mad at Clark 
and she understands why Clark kept his secret after contemplating it for a little bit, but she's completely mad at Lois for lying to her and not trusting her this whole time, and she basically says their whole friendship is built on a lie. And so this obviously is a big surprise to Lois, because Lois definitely wasn't expecting this, because this is technically Clark's secret, but in turn, it definitely has played on, you know, their relationship between Lana and Lois, and obviously Lana thinks of this as a big deal for them. And so, then we hop over back to Natalie, who reveals actually to Jordan and Jonathan that she's built her own new suit, and she thinks it would be good for Jonathan if he were attacked again, say by his alternate self from the Bizarro world, and so she needs help to dig out one more thing from the mines, and that thing of course is X Kryptonite, and so apparently it will power the suit, they are full of energy, and they go down to the mines as they skip school, and they try and dig it out. And so it turns out, after a while of like failing, Jordan's like, okay, I have this great idea, let me use my powers, and you know something bad is going to happen. And so as he uses his heat vision, the cave starts to collapse, and they nearly get trapped because the rocks are falling down everywhere. And at first I thought it was like a new portal maybe that was opening because of him, because the ex kryptonite looked kind of weird. However, no, literally the cave is just falling in and they're able to get out there thanks to Jordan. And so they end up laughing about that. They go back to Natalie's home. John Henry Irons returns after a long day's work at the end of the episode. And they start to make dinner together as Clark and Lois are out with Lana talking to her. And so let's hop back to what we were talking about before as Lois storms into her house saying that Lana hates her now, and Clark is truly shocked about this. However, Tal Ro breaks it up because he's in the house, as Clark had been previously talking to him a little bit earlier in the episode, and so he's come to apologize, and he does so very sincerely. And it definitely feels like actually true this time. Like, in the past, you still always question him because he's very schemy, and he doesn't have the best of intentions, as Lois explains to him when he shows up. And so Tauro is brought in after this with Superman's plan to try and destroy the pendant with John Henry Irons and with Lois's dad. And so at the same time, we have Sarah, who is picked up by her dad, by Kyle. And so this is instead of uh, Lana picking her up, and she's kind of worried about what's going on, and so does. Kyle and Kyle like throughout this whole episode is very much so contemplating what is she doing like does she have a new partner is she seeing someone but no we all know the truth as viewers because we've been shown where she's been for those past six hours with Clark of course because Clark revealed his true identity to her and so yeah that's just like an ongoing thing throughout this episode but in the meantime we continue with the Lana and Lois kind of conflict of this episode as Lois shows up to Lana's mayoral office and Lois reveals more about Jordan and the fact that he has powers and she basically comes to say look I understand what's going on and why you don't trust me and she can do what she decides she can tell her family she can tell Sarah about them and about Jordan but that is all up to her at the end of the day and she's not going to force her to do anything and so this was a pretty good scene kind of like continuing on with where they're at but like bringing more of Lois back into it because before when Lana attacked Lois, Lois was caught completely off guard and so now Lois reveals what she actually wanted to say. And so back with Superman and Tauro, this is where we get into the action of this episode. They try and destroy the pendant but this kind of nearly a god version of Ali Alston shows up. She's kind of in her parasite form as she literally drains Tauro of his powers and that is the parasite version of her from the comics, if you guys didn't know, Ali in the comics, a version of her was Parasite, and so Parasite has the ability to absorb anyone's powers, and so she figures this out in this episode, and she absorbs both Tao and Superman's powers, after Tao goes to try and stop him, and then Superman afterwards as well, and so she siphons their abilities and, you know, the energy with inside them, then John Henry Irons comes to the rescue with his hammer, literally knocks Ali out of the air, and so they come back with the final bit of energy that they have left and they destroy the pendant that being Tao and Superman and so at that point Ali returns she 
takes what was left of the pendant and basically flies away and they've pretty much defeated Ali or so it seems and the one last thing to do with this scene Tauro has disappeared he is completely gone and obviously that's because he has his powers is he dead is he alive well he's most likely alive he's run away and he's gonna be on the run at least for a little bit but it does seem like he's changed so I don't think he's gonna come back doing anything kind of villainous but then we hop over to Lana and what is going on with Lana so she goes and she talks with Sarah at their home and at that point I was like oh so she's actually doing the right thing she's going to reveal everything to Sarah about Superman and Jordan but as she's distracted by her sister she pivots and changes her course because for a moment there it did actually look like Lana was going to actually tell her absolutely everything but She's like, nope, um, I was going to tell you about like this internship that we had at the mayor's office and I was thinking you want to bolster your CV, so maybe you want to come work for us. So it's like the most stupid excuse I think you could have come up with for what she was about to tell her because she kind of built it up as this huge thing and obviously an internship. It's not a huge thing, especially when it's working with your mum or something. But anyway, at that point, Clark and Lois show up at the door, and also Sarah gets a text message on her phone from her dad asking her to come out because he's outside and he wants to take her somewhere, and so she's curious about that. And so we're curious, why is Clark and Lois showing up at the door? And the next scene answers that because you have the ending of their conversation in the garage as Sarah tries to leave. She sees Clark and Lois, she's like, huh, what's going on here? And obviously she's going to have ideas in her mind about what exactly is going on and I think she will eventually figure it out. But Lana is told everything including that her evil doppelganger is here. She's trying to, you know, help this evil figure Ali, trying to become the god and take over the world, both of the worlds. And so they are fully transparent about everything and I really do like this. However, at this point Lana is like, I do not want to associate with you guys for a while, you as the Kent, because I think it would be better for us. However, I don't want you to be gone forever, just need some time. And I was kind of shocked by this. I'm presuming you guys were as well. Well, we have like three more episodes left, so I really wonder if they're going to wrap it up in three episodes and like get them back together by the time that season three comes out. I'm very curious where this storyline goes, but for now it seems like we're going to have them separating a lot more and we'll have much less interactions between the two sides, it seems. And so Sarah goes with her dad to the bar. She thinks, oh, is my dad about to introduce me to, you know, the person that he was kind of involved with in the past? But no, it turns out he contacted her to get her a spot to sing at the bar, even though she's not 21. She's all cleared by all the people, the management, because she is a singer and she's been writing songs and so her dad invites her to come sing at the bar she sings she's actually really good the songs kind of like cut off halfway through but it's clear that you know this is something that she's passionate about and i think you know this is something she could pursue definitely in the show and so the final scene of the episode we go over to the bizarro world we see Bizarro, Lana, and Ali together. They briefly talk before Ali goes into the holding cell where they have Tauro from Bizarro World. And it turns out her interactions on RF has given her an idea about how without the pendant, she can become all powerful and become this godlike figure because she's realized that she's like a parasite and she can absorb everyone's powers. And so it seems she's gonna go after everyone who is a superhero and that has powers and that can power her in order to become this god that she was trying to become with the pendant so now that's pretty much impossible and this is like the best way to go around it so she goes to Tauro's prison cell and she absorbs all of his powers and all of his life force until he's a literal zombie he is a corpse that was a crazy ending to the episode I wasn't expecting that what do you guys think about this? Tell me down in the comments below. Were you shocked by it? What was your overall thoughts on this episode as well? Please be sure to let me know. So if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.